Rishi Sunak and Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer have both refused to commit to maintaining the state pension triple lock beyond the next general election, amid growing skepticism over the long-term sustainability of the policy. The Prime Minister stressed that his UK government has consistently supported pensioners, but was evasive about the future of the policy, which sets the size of increases in publicly funded pensions. Under the triple lock policy, the state pension increases each year in line with whichever is the highest between average annual earnings growth from May to July, the Consumer Price Index CPI, inflation rate in the year to September or two. 5%. From April 2024, the new and basic state pensions will rise by 8.5% under the earnings growth measure of the triple lock policy. Working age and disability benefits will increase by 6.7%, the September CPI figure. It comes after a global economic watchdog urged the UK to reform the costly triple lock to free up more money and boost growth as borrowing costs remain high. But the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development OECD, last week recommended that pensions should instead be pegged to an average of inflation and wage growth to help reduce state spending over time. Sunak refused to start writing the manifesto when asked whether the triple lock will form part of the Tories' plan going into the next general election, expected next year. He told reporters, We are the government that has introduced the triple lock and delivered the triple lock and it is why, right now, pensions are, depending on how you look at it, £800 or £900 bigger than they otherwise would have been. He pointed to Chancellor Jeremy Hunt's confirmation in his autumn statement that the triple lock policy would be implemented as usual, meaning the full new state pension will rise to £221. 10 per week while the full basic state pension will increase to £169.50 per week. Sunak continued. There was some skepticism that that might not happen but again it is just a signal of our commitment to look after our pensioners who have put a lot into our country, we owe them a lot and under this government we have consistently shown we will support them and back them. Some 12.6 million pensioners would be affected by any potential changes to the triple lock. Sir Keir, also declined to set out his plans at this stage. The Labour leader told journalists, this government made the commitment on the triple lock and it's for this government to keep to its commitment. We will set out our position as we get to the election, there is obviously at least one more fiscal event to be had yet, but we will set that out fully before we get to the election. Mr Hunt began to ease the historically high tax burden in last month's highly political autumn statement claiming the UK economy had turned a corner. A cut in national insurance will be rushed through Parliament to take effect in January to boost Mr Sunak's chances at the ballot box. The swift timeline for the cut and the scale of the Chancellor's fiscal package fueled speculation the election could be called in the spring. The Prime Minister shut down questioning on the topic saying he would not get into election timing now, alongside the manifesto or the next budget. State pension payment rates from April 2024 The calculations show the current annual rates for the full new and full basic state pensions. The state pension is usually paid every four weeks with 13 payments made throughout the year. How much someone receives depends on the number of years worth of national insurance contributions, around 35 is needed for the full new state pension, but this may be more if you were contracted out, find out more here. Current annual full new state pension, £10,600 weekly, £203.85 every four week pay period, £815. 
48.5% up rating April 2024, 11,502 pounds, up 902 pounds, weekly, 221 pounds and 20 pence every four week pay period, 884 pounds. A to get the latest record money news join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our record money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at recordmoney underscore for regular updates throughout the day. Current annual full basic state pension, £8,122 weekly, £156.20 every four week pay period, £624. 88.5% uprating April 2024, £8,814, up £692, weekly, £169.50 every four week pay period, £678. OO Full details on additional state pension, increments and invalidity allowance can be found on Gov. UK here. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages, 